What's up, y'all? It's Ezra coming to you live in the fact direct. Hello, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my show. <sighs> Happy that you're here. Alive and well, healthy. Hopefully. <laughs> Getting there. Getting closer to where you want to be with your health every day. <sighs> there comes a time ever so often when we feel stressed. We either overtrain or are dealing with heavy emotional issues. Maybe something has taken a toll on our health. This is where I find the high carb, low fat, raw vegan lifestyle so helpful, so healing. So amazing because our bodies can heal that much more quickly when we're eating low fat raw foods. And I don't mean cooked foods, cooked foods just do not help the healing process. Those are denatured foods. If we eat enough of the raw foods, we won't have to resort to cooked foods. So why do so many people fail eating this way? Well, for one thing, they don't eat enough. They don't get enough caloric density. This is why I think adding the raw oats to smoothies is a great way to get more calories in. So you don't feel the need to or you don't want to eat the cooked food. Because if you're wanting to eat those more, you know, more dense foods like pancakes with syrup and those types of things and just you're just not getting you know the calories that your body requires to feel satisfied calories are not created equal okay so number two why do people fail on the raw on the raw lifestyle well the second reason it's because their bodies aren't functioning optimally. And they don't give it enough time, patience, and effort to be able to succeed on this lifestyle. Um, oftentimes they'll think they're gaining weight or what it looks like. It looks like their bodies are gaining weight. Sorry. And that may happen, may occur. You know, it's impossible to live inside of a box like, oh, I'm going to be and stay this way forever. It doesn't work that way. When something happens to your health, like, um, like what has recently happened to me, I've got a serious parasite and it's affected my hormones and uh, I'm not sleeping at night. I'm really hungry, really craving um just whatever I've been eating and I don't and I don't say nope, I'm not I'm not going to have that. I give my body what it's asking me to give it. And that's good to do. You got to listen to your body, honor and respect your body. It's not like you're going to get fat. It's hard to get fat. You'll get a bit You'll look a little bit less slot, less clean and crisp, you know. Like after you do, um, after you do like a run or a workout, you just, you just feel better. You feel more crisp, feel just better. But if your body's stressed, 
it's gonna want to rest it's gonna maybe you won't be hungry maybe you'll have an opposite effect everybody's different depends how it's affecting you psychologically and emotionally as well so stress is a huge factor but we must know that everything is temporary if we're going through something it's temporary temporary and it's imperative that you listen to your body if you're, if you're tired you rest if you're hungry you eat if if you know it's like breathing breathing is like eating is sleeping just as is sleeping so I hope um, you get something from this video and please like share subscribe below peace